all right good morning all of you okay so okay so with me uh it's uh bevis berry and uh simi okay so today we are we have finished uh seven a now we are moving to seven b okay all right uh, so that you're going to share the screen we'll start with reading okay let me start uh wait Okay. Right. okay, we will start with reading. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. So this is our unit seven reading. Keep it green. Uh, you can open your textbook, uh, page, wait, uh, let me see, page 104, okay, 104, uh, so you have your cross-curricular element, which is environmental sustainability, okay, and then your language will basically uh, regarding techno gadgets, okay, will be regarding techno gadgets, okay, let's move on. Right, let's have Bevis. Bevis, can you read for teacher this main skill? The two main skill that we will be focusing yes, on teacher. today. Main skill, reading 3.2. Explore and expand ideas for personal development by reading in, in, independently and widely. Complementary skill, speaking 2.1. Communicate information, ideas, opinions and feelings intelligibly on familiar topics. Okay, right, let's have uh, Barry. Barry, can you read for teacher? <laughs> uh, men's skill reading 3.2.1. Read a variety of suitable print and digital text to investigate and analyze national issues. Complementary skill speaking 2.1.1. Explain simple content on familiar topics from what they read and hear. Okay, so this is basically all the skills that we hope that. Uh, we will be able to acquire at the end of the uh, lessons. Not today's lessons, uh, at the end of the whole topic. Okay. Uh, yeah, so this is what we want you to have. You're going to look at all the different reading texts afterwards. Okay, of course, it's print and digital text. Okay. All right, you need to analyze. Okay, so if you look at it, our one, our focus today, uh, not our focus, our focus that throughout this 7b unit 7b okay we'll be reading then we'll have vocabulary then we'll go on to listening speaking and writing okay as uh, usual writing will be the end okay now this is the one <clears throat> we are talking about speaking just now right okay if you look at it uh, speaking all right communicate information ideas and opinions so basically now i have to uh, ask all of you to give me your ideas and opinions and feelings, okay? All right, so you have to type since I cannot hear your voice. Only those with me, Barry, Simi, and Bevis, they are able to communicate as in verbally. The rest of you have to type, okay? All right, communicate through typing. Okay, now, uh, so this one. Discuss what do you do to protect the environment and what more could you do? Okay, these two things I would like you all to uh, type at the chat box. I will type simplify your words or whatsoever. Okay, uh, what do you do to protect the environment at the moment? Okay, the one with me, just think about it. Okay, the one at the chat box, can you just type uh, Chantel, Bev, uh, Lily, okay, Alisa, Rosma, Diana? Okay, can you just type uh, what do you do to protect the environment? Okay, okay. What do you do to protect the environment? Okay, can you type? Okay, I want to remind the other class, please come in to join the class. Okay.
And we are type. Rabbis, any answer given at the chat box? Did any of our students uh, type? If yes, see, you can click. Simi is typing the answer. Simi write three R and. All right. Can you can you click? Can you click? Uh, click and then it will go up to the to the to the main screen. Okay, maybe you can put the our setting to the other one, where we can see each other. Uh, teacher, if we in the stream, yeah, we need to type or not, teacher? You want to type also can. Uh, you I can type right. You can type right. Ah, uh, can you can you put the Simi's answer on top and then Rosma the announcement? Already, teacher. Already, already. Already, ah. Uh? Okay. Why is Simi? Why is written there? Three B one, three R or three R or Simi wrote three R. How about conserve water? Ah, then Rosma Diana said plant a tree, correct? Okay, come on. What are the rest? Azira, Fatin, Fasi, Ayman. Okay, Siti, uh, Siti Fatin. What do you think? Do you do to protect the environment? I think just think about us. I uh, don't think to think like like what Rosma Diana said. Plant a tree. I think that's good enough, isn't it? Okay, you don't go and plant a jungle. You know, this is good enough. Like you just plant a tree. I think it's good enough. Okay. All right, what can we do to protect the environment? Okay, yeah, 3D, correct. Okay, don't simply throw any anything, you just dump it. Okay, there's certain things that you can recycle, then you, you do recycle, like certain container, right? I think certain container that we use, uh, actually, basically, I will recycle it, you know. If that con container is in, uh, we are using the plastic container, and I think that we can still reuse it. Normally, I'll wash it, wash it, and then after that, I will use it, okay? Uh, instead of buying a new uh, new container, okay, like Tupperware or those, right? Uh, okay, so what you can reuse, we try to reuse. Okay, then, okay, uh, Babies, did you put yourself up, the one? Uh, reduce the usage of air conditioner. Yep. Okay, if I think if the weather is bearable, not too hot, I think it's okay to switch off the aircon. I know certain certain time of the day, right? It's just really hot. It can make you. I mean, for me, it's like sometimes I feel headache because due to the heat. Okay, it's just like it's too hot. Okay, then of course I will on the aircon. Other than that, if it's raining or it's bearable, I don't on the aircon. Okay, all right. Then after that, reduce open burning. Chantal say yes. Okay, yeah, reduce open burning. I think this one is all the one that uh, we have learned in our science. Okay, we try to to don't 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 do open burning. Okay, then after that, uh, Lily say use recyclable bags. Yes, okay, it's a practice. Right now, I think our Marudian not so aware of this, but I told you right, people in if they go KL right, all the cities are. Uh, they actually, everything costs money, you know. If you want to use the plastic, every plastic bag, 20 cents. Uh, if you buy a lot of item where you use 10 plastic bags, so you pay extra 2 ringgit or some kind of thing. So, like, my sister, all they will have all the recycled bag with them where it is packaged in such a, like, you make it into keychain, it look very cute, it's a strawberry, some of it is like uh, some kind of, but then actually it's a recycled bag. Okay, where you can open it up and then it become a recycle bag. Okay, so they can reuse it again. Okay, then Barry said reduce plastic usage. Yeah, okay, reduce plastic usage. Okay, if can, okay, buy your, bring your own bottle of waters. All right, yeah, because right now, uh, now they already realize that plastic is one thing that they keep on producing, but this plastic uh, cannot be biodegradable. All right, therefore, it's become a nuisance right now on Earth because we do not know what to do with this plastic. Okay, we cannot we cannot uh, destroy it. It is there and then it's for hundreds of years. It's still there because it's not biodegradable. So it's become a problem right now to human. Okay, uh? all right. So this one now after they have produced so much plastic, then only they realize okay how are we going to do with this plastic that we have produced okay so what more could you do okay let's go on okay yeah so i have produced the idea uh because in your speaking task uh there are certain questions like this it's a very short question so what do you do to protect the earth the environment so you just sim sim it's a simple one you can just answer in full question full sentence 
that is sufficient. Okay? Okay, let's have Bevis. Can you read the answer? Yes, madam. What do you do mm. to protect the environment? I recycle. I don't drop litter in streets or parks. I turn off the lights when I leave the house or a, lo a room. I don't leave the water running while I'm taking a shower or brushing my teeth. Okay, so basically, all of you gave the answer just now all also correct. So as long as you gave it in the full sentence, that will be fine. Okay, let's have the next one. What more could you do? Can I have a uh, Simi? What more you could do? I should try. What more could you do? I should try to recycle more materials like batteries. I should avoid buying plastic, which is hard to recycle. I should walk or ride my bike to school instead of having my parents drive me there. Okay, I think uh, I should walk and ride to school. I think it's not very applicable in Malaysia because it's really hot. But I know when I go overseas, right? I mean, I have two experiences of going overseas. One is in uh, Australia, the other one is New Zealand. Basically, the school is really nearby. They, it is their system, it's their government. They set it in such a way that uh, in this community, there will be one school, one secondary school, one primary school, where everybody actually, you can uh, walk to school. All right. And then their children, actually, they will walk to school because their weather is very good. I mean, I don't mind walking if the weather is not hot like us. Okay. All right. Uh, so it's the weather when I was there, the weather was like, it won't be as hot as us. Okay. It's bearable. Even if you walk to school and you return back you won't like sweat okay until your clothes are all wet all right so it's still bearable all right so this is for overseas and then they even have like if you are taking a bike bicycle they actually have uh they actually do a path for the students to ride their bike to school safely you no need to like uh you're afraid that your child might be knocked down by a car no, they actually have a special uh, road for the children to go by bike. If you need to go, like they will do a tunnel to go down or something like that to make sure that the students are safe. The children, like the ones that do, they can just ride their bicycle to school, okay, safely and return home. Okay, so the other one is like, I should try to recycle uh, more materials like batteries. I do not know how to recycle battery actually. I should avoid buying plastics, which is hard to recycle. Okay, all right. So this is some of the uh, opinion given. What more could you do? Okay, let's move on. Huh? So read the text quickly. Okay, I don't need you to read. I want you to listen. Okay, I have already put in the form 4 is really good. You can actually... Listen to the reading text, but form five, no more. <laughs> okay, there's no such uh, read, uh, listening uh, activity for you beside the listening assessment. Okay, so right now, I want all of you to listen. Okay, I think I need to. Okay, I hope you can listen. Uh. Wait, I have to put my, my volume. Wait, I escape first. Uh. I think I need to put my volume to the maximum. Okay, all right. Okay, I will have you all listen to the recording. Okay, I you all listen to the recording. 7B. Read. B. Read the text quickly and decide which of the two headings, A or B, is more suitable for each of the paragraphs, 1 to 3. Keep it green. Everybody buys and uses a variety of products every day without giving it a lot of thought. You might not have realized it, but each of these products affects the environment somehow. Through the way it is made, used or disposed of. For this reason, eco-scientists are trying to come up with ideas to introduce environmentally friendly products into our lives. Their motto is reduce Reuse, recycle. 1. How eco-friendly are you at home? We tend to waste a lot of energy, which is not particularly good for the environment. Well, a new shower head has been designed to help us out in two different ways. Firstly, 
It is a light for the shower, powered by the water used while having a shower. This means that you don't need to have the bathroom light on, which saves electricity. It is easy to install and has another interesting feature. You must have found yourself in a situation where you step into the shower and the water is either too cold or too hot. Well, this shower head has an indicator which glows blue or red when the water is too cold or too hot and turns off when the water has reached the right temperature and needs no more heating. It's sure to be a feature in homes all over the world in the future. 2. One device that is thrown out very frequently is the mobile phone. Eager to keep up with all the latest technological trends, consumers tend to throw out their phones after an average of 18 months and buy the latest model. If you take into consideration that about 4.5 billion mobiles are in use worldwide, then it's not surprising that there are mountains of unwanted phones across the globe. Most mobile phones contain hazardous materials and recycling them is difficult and costly. However, researchers in England have created a mobile with high-tech materials. So what, you might say? But it also contains a sunflower seed. So, when you don't want the phone any longer, you simply plant it. The seed grows into a beautiful sunflower, fertilized by the biodegradable case, which will break down completely within a month. If that isn't environmentally friendly, what is? 3. Sometimes the most unlikely combinations have very successful results and can also have a positive effect on the environment. A company in the USA noticed how many old car number plates were left on the side of roads or in junkyards. They took the number plates and thought of a way to recycle them. They turned them into fashionable handbags and CD cases. You may not have seen them before, but they have become a huge success. The company now provides a service where you can send your own old number plate to be turned into a handbag. They are also looking into using other parts of cars to create fashionable accessories. It just shows you that you can look good and be eco-friendly at the same time. So, have you got a number plate that you want to get rid of? All right, so that's the end of the reading. So, I think you all know you're supposed to choose the title, right? Okay, for this one. Are you going to choose A, save water, or B, kill two birds with one stone? Okay, can you type at the chat box? Okay, which one are you going to choose? A or B? Okay, all right, so Kyung is here, Lily is here before we play the class point. Huh? Okay, yeah, what are you going to choose? Okay, let's ask people in my county. Lah. Okay, Barry, are you going to choose A, save water? Or B kills two stone two birds with one stone. Uh, B. Uh, B. B, yeah. Okay, kill two birds with one stone. Correct. Okay, let's go to number two. Okay, if you look at uh, your next exercise, your next exercise uh is uh on page one zero five, huh? Okay, where you're supposed to read the text again and answer the question. Okay, this is like uh no multiple choice, ah. You're supposed to answer the question. Okay, so yeah. We're going to listen to it again. Then only we will answer the question. Wait, okay. So we go to B first. Okay, so CB, for this one, are you going to choose A or are you going to choose B for the title? The latest trendy accessory or from phone to flower? Yes, CB. Can you hear me? <laughs> I hope you can. Can, can. Can, ah? Uh? So, are you going to choose A or B? The latest I think trend? it's B. B, yeah. The whole thing is about sunflower, right? From a phone, plant it, and then become a sunflower. So, it's B. 
Okay, the last one, Bevis. Okay, which one are you going to choose as the title? Is it trendy junk or recyclable handbags? Uh, I think I will change. Uh, I will choose a uh, recyclable recyclable handbag. Okay, actually the answer is trendy handbag. <laughs> okay, the title is uh because the uh yeah. The one is given as a trendy junk because that one is a junk, you know. Because something that you throw away is called a junk. Okay, then after that, it turned it up into trendy junk or handbag. All right, junk actually is like sampa, I like know. Okay, that's why you have your word junk food. Do you know that your junk food or your uh <laughs> all the junk food. Okay, all right, or the chisel or the thirsty or uh, what else do you like? Potato chips, uh, all those they are under junk food, okay? Because it's like uh, it's not going to give you any nutrition. You really look at the back, right? It's con con contain salt, or the sodium, or the uh, whatever I do not know. But it's not it's not really giving you any any much nutrition. Like you eat uh vegetable fruits, okay? Fish, chicken, uh, those, okay? So now, let's go to the question first before I go to the... Okay, I think you cannot hear me anymore. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, because I want you all to listen to it again. Okay, let's go to the question first. Huh? Okay, this will be the question. Okay, we read through the question first. Okay, it's very important for you to read through the question. After that, I want all of you to maybe have a pencil with you or pen with you, okay, with a paper, okay, to find out the answer, Okay. Ah, uh, the answer is like uh not very long. No, uh, all the answers is pretty short. Okay, let me check. Ah, uh, yeah, the answer is kind of like short. Okay, all right. Afterwards, I will need you to answer this. Hmm. All right. So where does uh let's have Barry? Barry, can you read number one, number two? Then uh, Simi, read number three and number four. And then I want uh Bevis to read five six seven. Okay, okay, Barry, can you read number one, number two? Where does the eco friendly shower shower head get get its power from? Mm. Number two, how can you tell if the water is too hot with the eco friendly shower head? Mm. Yes, next. What usually happens to mobile phones after eighteen months? What do you do with the mobile developed by English <clears throat> researchers when you finish with it? What happens to the bio, biodegradable, <laughs> biodegradable yeah, heads? Where mm. does the company that makes fashionable handbags get materials from? How can you get mm. a personalized handbag made? Okay. All right. Uh. All right. So, yeah. So I need you all to uh, get the answer. Uh. Uh, maybe you do not need to type the whole thing. It's a bit uh, tough. Okay, maybe you all can just uh, wait. Uh, I see what what did I what did I plan first? I skip. I skip first. Uh. Oh, actually, I should give the answer. Okay. Uh, in that sense. Uh, uh, okay. Wait. Uh, wait. Uh, let me scroll through first. Where did I going to play the 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 game? Okay. Wait ah. Uh. Okay, I think I will straight away discuss the answer with you all. Okay. Alright. Okay, so uh we will type at the chat box lah. Huh? Where does the eco friendly shovel head gets its power from? Okay, or should I use the uh should i use the okay now my your type at the chat box okay this is the this is the text okay where do the i think i think i put the question here where does the eco friendly shower head gets its power from okay i did put it here where does the eco friendly gets a power from okay mm. okay while well, you're you why all my answer is here? Okay. <laughs> Alright. I'll let you all listen to it again. Okay. Uh, while you all look up for the answer. 
Okay, where is my... Wait, uh, I look for my... Uh, yeah, it's here. Okay. Okay, you'll look out for the answers while listening to the text again. Okay. Uh. Then only I'll discuss. 7B. Read. B. Read the text quickly and decide which of the two headings, A or B, is more suitable for each of the paragraphs, 1 to 3. Keep it green. Everybody buys and uses a variety of products every day without giving it a lot of thought. You might not have realized it, but each of these products affects the environment somehow. Through the way it is made, used or disposed of. For this reason, eco-scientists are trying to come up with ideas to introduce environmentally friendly products into our lives. Their motto is Reduce, Reuse, Recycle. 1. How eco-friendly are you at home? We tend to waste a lot of energy, which is not particularly good for the environment. Well, a new shower head has been designed to help us out in two different ways. Firstly, it is a light for the shower powered by the water used while having a shower. This means that you don't need to have the bathroom light on, which saves electricity. It is easy to install and has another interesting feature. You must have found yourself in a situation where you step into the shower and the water is either too cold or too hot. Well, this shower head has an indicator which glows blue or red when the water is too cold or too hot and turns off when the water has reached the right temperature and needs no more heating. It's sure to be a feature in homes all over the world in the future. Okay, so what do you think will be the answer? Where does the eco-friendly shower head get its power from? Okay. Right. Where do you think it gets its power from? Okay, wait, uh. okay. Okay, any answer at the chat box? Where do you think it get its power from? Uh, Google Translate. What is junk? Oh, junk. Uh. Junk is sampa. Okay, Chantel. Uh. So you have junk food. Okay, junk food, the one that you always buy. Uh, not always, uh, not you. Uh. Children loves it okay junk food these are called junk food actually junk is considered as sampa okay all right get power from water use use while having a shower okay same with Barry's answer okay let's see yeah okay see i think i yeah power by the water use while having a shower so uh the lights the lights right okay where does this eco-friendly shower head gets its power from this means once you shower, then the water flows, okay? Then somehow it generates generates uh, power and the lights will on, okay? Uh, it's some, it's, if you have learned Dynamo, it's something like that. Last time, my bicycle, my, my bicycle back home, uh, the last time, we used the Dynamo actually. My mom will own it. And then the fastest we cycle, the light will be brighter. If you cycle really slow, the light is just dim. The more, the faster you cycle, the light will be brighter. So it used the dynamo system, okay, to give power to light the the, the bulb. I think it's give, it's the same right now. It's using the water, the water how, uh, how how fast it flow, okay, how rapid, uh, no, not rapid uh, how fast, okay, the water flow, okay. It will give the power, all right? It's powered by the water, okay? Yeah? I think that's how your empangan, you know, your the, our water, right? Ah, the one in Bakun. That's how it actually uh, works as well. We use the water to empower it to turn and then to generate electricity. Okay, of course, that one is 
uh, way, the technology is higher than what I'm telling you right now. Okay? Okay, yeah? Huh? All right, we use the energy given by the water. Okay, so, okay, yeah? you get power from water used while having a shower, yes. So you don't need to switch on the light. Save your energy. Okay, let's go to the next one. I think I put the answer here. Yeah, from the water used while having a shower. Okay, let's go to the next one. Next question. I think it's still under this one. The next question. How can you tell if the water is too hot? With the I call friendly shower head. Yeah. How you know whether the water is too hot? Okay. Uh, what's your answer? Okay, you have listened to it right just now. So what's what is it that you know the water is too hot? You don't need to feel it. Yet, you already know that the water is too hot. Okay, which one? Okay, all right. So, you can forget about the top part. Uh, the not lot. Next one. You must have found yourself in a situation where you step into the shower and the water is either too cold or too hot. Uh, see, you, you see the keyword. Okay, when you do your reading text, uh, make sure you look at the keyword too hot. And there's another too hot here. Okay, so what's the answer? Well, this shower head has an indicator which glow blue or red when the water is too cold or too hot. And turns off when the water has reached the right temperature and it's no more heating. So, yeah, indicator will turn red. Exactly. So, this is the one. Uh, this is the keyword. Look for the keyword. Look at it. Read properly. Answer exactly what they ask. Because they're focusing on water is too hot. They're not focusing on water is too cold. Okay? So, an indicator, indicator glows red. So, you have that, that indicator. Indicator means a penunjuk indicator. Okay? Glows red. So, you know, ah, this water too hot. Better don't go near. Okay? Maybe you can uh, wait for a while. Or maybe you can change the temperature until it's not red color anymore, uh, you feel safe to bathe. Okay? All right. Uh? Okay, let's go to the next one. All right. Uh, this one about the latest trendy accessory, right? Okay, we will go to the next question. Okay, the next question is number three. Okay, what usually happens to mobile phone after 18 months? Okay, clear? Yeah. What happened to mobile phone after 18 months? Months. What do they do with the mobile developed by the English researchers? Okay, wait. Okay, I'll let you listen since I already, already have this. I may as well let you listen to it. I need you all to listen to this more so that you all can do the work. Okay, all right. Huh? So listen to the second part. Okay, I already gave you their questions. The question is, what usually happens to mobile phone after 18 months? Okay, look at the keywords. All right. Okay. 7B. I will fast forward. Read. Okay. 7B. Wait, uh. Read. B. Okay. Read the text quickly and decide which of the two headings, A or B, is more suitable for each of the okay, no need, <laughs> okay because i cannot fast forward i have to i have to adjust the layout again okay so what happened what usually happens to mobile phones after 18 months okay yeah you throw it away correct Chantal. okay normally after 18 months here already said already already indicated here okay either you throw away or what buy the latest model okay yeah consumer tend to throw them or buy the latest model all right i think all of you here all of you i believe you owned a mobile phone okay and will it last uh until one and a half years Okay, some of you might even have buy the latest model before one and a half, uh, before 18 months. Okay, depending. All right, because some of you wanted the latest apps or the storage 
or the camera that it's uh the apps uh the what uh, pixel the megapixel that enable you to capture uh nice photographs okay all right so the next question next question what do you do with the mobile developed by english researchers when you are finished a eh, visit w-i-t-h huh? okay all right what do you do with it okay okay you can type at the chat box what do you do with your mobile phone okay after you have uh finished with it okay yes Right, simply plant it. Is it right? Oh, yeah. If you have follow, uh, simply plant it. Okay. If you have, you just follow the the keyword given to you. Okay. So when you don't want the phone, okay, the word here. If you don't want, okay, here. Uh, this one. If you don't want the phone any longer, means you have finished with it. Okay. Ah. Uh. Okay, you plant it. Okay, there was sunflower up here. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, don't need to listen. The more I click, everything gone. Okay, what happened to the biodegradable case? Okay, you have to learn this word biodegradable. Uh, degrade means in BM is what? <laughs> uh, I do not know what's the word. Uh, BM is what? Degrade. Uh, it's a feature. Look, this look, is push, like I the think. case can be decomposed in the environment. It's like you throw in the tanah yes. and then it will decompose by itself. Yeah, because it's bio. When you have bio, means life, means all the bacteria, or uh, they can degrade that 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 case. That's why it's called biodegradable. But most of the plastic, sorry, the all the our bacteria all cannot cannot degrade it. The plastic will be there forever like that okay because this is it's non uh environmental friendly okay uh that's why it's doing damage to the environment plastic but right now right now a lot of them are trying to the r d uh, research and development okay since my time when i was in university this is our project we have to come up with a biodegradable we try to use all the bacteria, whatever, enzyme, whatever. Lah. We try and see whether they can degrade certain plastic. You know? But until today, uh, sorry. Okay, very, very, I think there's no such such bacteria that are able to degrade the plastic. Okay, but somehow this one, they, they have, lah. I do not know. I do not know whether it's true or not. Okay, or it's just an article. Because have you seen any phone that you planted? After that can grow sunflower. Okay, I, I for me I have not seen that. But the only the only uh the only experience that I have is when I go to Australia. I do not know whether I have told you all. I go to Australia and I wash clothes. I didn't know that they are detergent. You know they're detergent. The detergent are bio uh uh environmental friendly. It means they will let's say our water uh, if I wash my clothes. All my water will go to the drain okay all those with soap everything uh, when I, I i i spin my clothes when i drain my clothes everything the water will go to the drain okay but in australia when i did that my my host uh, the one that i stay with told me uh we don't we don't uh we don't uh let the, the water go to the drain they actually will put it in the pail and then they will use the water to uh, uh water their plants because they say they are they are detergent is environmental friendly. I was like, oh okay. So the next time when I wash my clothes, I need to conserve water. I need to put all their water in the pail and then they will use it to uh to water the plant. So the first time I encounter that water the detergent are environmental friendly in Australia. So next time if you go to Australia, you know they are detergent environmental friendly. Okay, you don't go to the, you don't wash your clothes with all the soap, everything after that, go to the train. <laughs> okay, that's my first encounter in Australia. Australia actually they are really into environment, uh environment, uh, how to say uh, they they really care for their environment. Okay, that's why you can see peacock flying anywhere. Then you can see the 
parrots just outside your house if you have a a nut tree you have parrots full of parrots at your at the outside your house you know depending on what plant you're planting so yeah i i, I saw the peacock while i was drinking coffee just fly over and then stop next to my table okay so it's like it's really australia is one place they let nature take over they don't put them in cage okay uh that's the difference all right so biodegradable ah huh? bevis you have anything you want to ask about biodegradable anymore uh no, yeah sure. yeah okay biodegradable i like this word <laughs> because teacher is actually from the plastic plastic technology where i did a lot of plastic and uh, plastic experiment and our approach is always to come up with something biodegradable it's always we are this is all the involved with plastic technology all the development all the research and development all the scientists they are zooming into this one it's just like right now lah, whoever can find out can find out how to cure this COVID 19 like that okay all right huh? so uh what happened to the biodegradable case uh they will be fertilized uh it will break down completely okay break down okay uh the is it not lupus lah what is that word ah bm i forgot what's the bm word for degrade okay uh like your paper if you put it outside for a while it will uh biodegrade okay uh it will biodegrade you don't need to do anything with it the paper will just degrade by the organism in the in the uh, sand in the yeah okay all right ah uh? so it will break down okay the answer it breaks down completely within the month and fertilize the seed it don't just break down but become fertilizer okay uh, i think it's interesting uh, that's how god make it all right so go to the next one the next one where does the company take make that makes fashionable handbag get materials from uh, this one quite easy where do they get the material from Okay, where do they get the material from? Okay, anyone can answer? Where do they get the material from? Okay, from your house? <laughs> do they buy it? Okay, where do where does the company that makes fashionable handbags get material from? Yes, junk. Oh, correct junk sampah all right actually the answer is you see ah sometimes the most unlikely combination has very successful results and you can have a positive effect on the environment a company in the u.s say notice how many old car number plates were left on the side of the road so the answer is side of the road or okay the answer is this one ah huh? okay uh, so from the side of roads or from junk yachts okay from junk yachts this is the answer okay let's go to the last, next one we got how many questions all together seven or eight seven okay this will be the last question how can you get a personalized handbag made how how the answer is bagaimana how how Okay, number plates, old car. Yeah, okay. See me say old car, number plates. Yes. Yeah. Okay, they all simply throw their number plates. But I don't know about throwing number plates. I think Malaysian don't really throw their number plates. Okay. Yeah. Because from all I know, the number plates, are they actually can use it for their new car, you know. Uh, that's what one, one of our teacher did that. He want to maintain the number plate. He actually the new car number plate. He did he, he don't he, he doesn't want the new car number plate. He used his old car number plate and then they exchange. He put the new car, I know the, the new number plate into the old car, and then his old car number plate into his new car. Okay, it seems like you can do that. Okay because he he actually likes that number plate number okay so you want to maintain that number plate 
All right. So sending your old number plate to the company. Yes. Okay, very good. Where you can send your old number plate and turn it into the handbag. So how do you answer? By sending. So the word by. Sending your old number plate to be turned into a handbag. Okay. So that's the answer. Okay, good. So the rest of you uh, learn to answer. Huh? Okay, now this one. Find words and phrases in the text and match them with the definition below. Okay, I hope all of you have your textbook with you. Okay, I hope all of you have it. Huh? Okay, uh, if not, okay. Uh, this will be the question. I want all of you to type your answer because find word or phrases. That means either one word, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, it's not very long. Okay, the answer is, yeah, most of it, one word. Only got one with two words. The rest of it, one word only. Okay, the rest of it, one word only. Okay, I'm going to put, uh, I think I have no answer. Yeah, I didn't create the answer here. Okay, yeah, I didn't create any answers here. So I'm safe. <laughs> okay, I'll let you listen to it again. Uh, if you have your text, you can just refer to your text. If you don't have your text, you can listen to it and see which word you want to Uh. We want to, we want to take, okay? Wait, ah. Uh. Okay, they already tell you paragraph one, paragraph two. Introduction will be the beginning one, okay? Introduction will be the beginning one. Okay, let me go through with you before I play with it, ah. Uh. So, introduction, this will be your introduction, okay? How do I go back? Yeah. Hey, shucks. What did I do? Hey, escape. <laughs> okay, that's bad. <laughs> all right. All right, I'll discuss the answer with you later. So I want all of you to write your answer. Ah. Okay, go to the go to the chat. Go to my class point. I want all of you to write your answer. Please check your okay, it's a slight drawing, ah. All right, uh, I don't want this code anymore. Wait, 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 wait. You don't start first, huh? I want to change the code. I want to change the class code because this one is my previous class. Um, Okay, lah. now I continue with the class code lah because my one can accommodate up to like 200 students. All right, just con. All right, yeah. All right, so now I just continue with the same class code. Okay? All right. I put our uh, apps, ah. Uh. What should I change? Uh? Uh, okay, lah, new class code, lah, uh, new class code. Uh. Okay, so I put, ah, uh, HTTPS. App. Okay, code will be seven zero two seven five okay right you'll join and then you all give me the answer see how many of you can do it okay seven zero two seven five all right okay uh most of the answer only one word except number one lah. number one there are two words the rest one word the rest one word okay Okay, and the rest only one word. Okay, look at the text. All right, what's the meaning of... Uh, okay, I hope I can play. I hope I can play this. 7B. Yeah. Read. B. Read the text quickly and decide which of the two headings, A or B, is more suitable for each of the paragraphs, 1 to 3. Keep it green. Everybody buys and uses a variety of products every day without giving it a lot of thought. You might not have realized it, but each of these products affects the environment somehow. Through the way it is made, used or disposed of. For this reason, eco-scientists are trying to come up with ideas to introduce environmentally friendly products into our lives. Their motto is, 
Reduce, reuse, recycle. One. How eco-friendly are you at home? We tend to waste a lot of energy, which is not particularly good for the environment. Well, a new shower head has been designed to help us out in two different ways. Firstly, it is a light for the shower powered by the water used while having a shower. This means that you don't need to have the bathroom light on, which saves electricity. It is easy to install and has another interesting feature. You must have found yourself in a situation where you step into the shower and the water is either too cold or too hot. Well, this shower head has an indicator which glows blue or red when the water is too cold or too hot and turns off when the water has reached the right temperature and needs no more heating. It's sure to be a feature in homes all over the world in the future. 2. One device that is thrown out very frequently is the mobile phone. Eager to keep up with all the latest technological trends, consumers tend to throw out their phones after an average of 18 months and buy the latest model. If you take into consideration that about 4.5 billion mobiles are in use worldwide, then it's not surprising that there are mountains of unwanted phones across the globe. Most mobile phones contain hazardous materials and recycling them is difficult and costly. However, researchers in England have created a mobile with high-tech materials. So what, you might say? But it also contains a sunflower seed. So, when you don't want the phone any longer, you simply plant it. The seed grows into a beautiful sunflower, fertilized by the biodegradable case, which will break down completely within a month. If that isn't environmentally friendly, what is? 3. Sometimes the most unlikely combinations have very successful results and can also have a positive effect on the environment. A company in the USA noticed how many old car number plates were left on the side of roads or in junkyards. They took the number plates and thought of a way to recycle them. They turned them into fashionable handbags and CD cases. You may not have seen them before, but they have become a huge success. The company now provides a service where you can send your own old number plate to be turned into a handbag. They are also looking into using other parts of cars to create fashionable accessories. It just shows you that you can look good and be eco-friendly at the same time. So, have you got a number plate that you want to get rid of? Okay. So I hope that uh, you're able to, yeah. Yeah, I start now. Uh. Okay. All right, so far seven have entered. You can start to put your answers. Okay, Barry, Rosmadiana, Jinjet, Didi, Simi, Bevis, Suhang. I don't know. Is Suhang more than fine already? The previous time you told me Zhang's modem is like, uh, yeah. Why is it going there? Yeah. Okay. Okay, this will be the first. Okay, still cannot write, car, madam, huh? Can write idea. Eh? Can already, can already. Just now I thought. Uh... Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I just, yeah, yeah. Uh, just I because can, I haven't can write and then ah, I'm not ready. Just now I haven't start. Now can really good. Okay, get rid of. Uh, which word? The meaning. Get rid of. Okay, then the next one, paragraph one. Provide energy so that something works. I remember just now we all talk about. Uh, provide energy. Uh, for the light to turn on. Produce a soft, steady light. Ah, okay. A soft, steady light. The, the adjective, soft. 
steady light. It's not bright and uh, glaring light. Soft and steady light. And then often. Okay, which word have the meaning often? And number five, very keen and excited about something one wants to do. Okay, which word shows that you are keen and excited? Okay, to do something. And dangerous, harmful. Okay, science students should know that. Dangerous and harmful was the word. Okay, then a place where all car. I think this one we already mentioned. A place where all cars. Uh, what? Uh, all cars. Machines uh, are collected. Okay, what do you call that place? Okay, old car. Okay. Okay, this will be our last exercise before we end our class. All right. Okay, I hope all can try. Huh? There's 11 of you. Okay, where is all this? So, so young. Okay, Chris, Bevi, uh, Chris and Anson didn't join today. <laughs> where is Chris and Anson? All right, for those that are not able to join the the uh, class point, you can always type at the chat box, huh? like Tracy. All right, Tracy can type at the chat box. Ayman, okay, what's your answer? Azira, okay, Fatin. Okay, can just type at the chat box your answer. Okay, I will read. All right. Yeah, you can type your answers at the chat box huh, for those that could not enter the class point. Okay, anybody submitted? Okay, good. Very clever. Yeah, correct, Azira. Okay, Azira, you can just type your answer there. Teacher can uh, check. Okay. Tracy or... Okay, remember to go and take your attendance, yeah? Okay, Barry. Okay. Right, I'll mark the answer. Huh? Okay, get rich. Okay, the answer provide energy. Okay, number four, correct. Okay, number four. Where's number four? Okay, number four, correct. Number five, correct. Number six, correct. Number seven, correct. So, four over seven. Okay, any more? Okay, another one coming in. Babies, okay, let's see. Okay, Babies, okay, number one, correct. 
Number two, um, no need ED. Okay, then this one. Uh, number three, still not the correct one. Correct, correct, correct. So one, two, three, four, five. Six, okay, six over seven. Okay, so uh, seven. Okay, only number three. Lah. Okay, see any more answer? Okay, still three, two answer only. Any more? Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, number three. Okay, power dispose glows. Mm. Okay, yes. Any more answer? Maybe what's your next class? Uh, sejarah, but the teacher gave us homework already. Oh, okay, okay. So it's not in a rush, huh? Okay. All right, let's check CVs. Okay, dispose. Okay, good. So dispose of power, gloss, noni S. Okay, so frequently eager, hazardous, jump yet. Okay, correct. Seven over seven. Okay, any more? Okay, any more coming in? Okay, uh, so get rid of, right? It's dispose. It's another word of dispose. Uh. That's why the diaper, you know your 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 diaper uh, now with uh, what? Uh, mommy poco pants, all those. Uh, all right, uh, they are called disposable diaper. Okay? Uh, okay, disposable. This means like, you can just throw. Now we have a lot of disposable. We have disposable plastic, disposable plates. Uh, we have disposable uh, spoons, forks. All right, all those is after you have used it, you discard. Discard means throw. Another word for throw, discard. D I S C A R R D. Discard. Okay? Discard. Okay, discard means you throw it away. Okay, so provide energy, power. Okay, produce a soft, steady light, glow. We call it glow. Okay, glow. Okay, all right, huh? Okay, any more? Uh, no more handling in or waiting. Okay, often, frequently, very keen, eager. It's another word, very eager. Okay, sangat, uh, yeah, eager to join something. Then dangerous, hazardous. I think this one in your science, you have learned, hazardous. And a place where all cars are junk yacht. Okay, this one, our Malaysia, we have a lot of junk yacht. Okay, where they will collect all the old cars, right, cars which are already not functioning. Okay, they are called junk yacht. Okay, I think already nine minutes. I don't know how many sending in. Okay, if you could not send in, please snapshot and then you can just send in to teacher later. All right. Okay. So I have discussed the answer with you. I'm going to close the mission. Okay. So the next one, we are going to learn our model verb. Huh? Model plus have plus past participle. Okay. You can look at the video that teacher have sent you. And to further, because there are one students, I think, only able to get uh, four out of seven correct. Okay. Or three out of seven correct. Okay, so I will discuss this one a little bit more before we move on to the next question. Actually, I have uh, everything. Uh, this one, discard. Remember, you see, keep and discard. Discard is like uh, throw it away. Okay, it's called discard. Okay, this one I want to keep because I mark all your words. Okay, uh, we will discuss the answer in our next, next lesson. So, I want to save. Yeah, save everything first. Okay. All right. That's all for today. I think all of you can uh, go to your next class. So thank you, Bevis. Thank you, Barry. And thank you, Simi, for being my helper today. So uh, we will see. I will see you on Wednesday. So 
Happy Independence Day tomorrow. Hari Merdeka. Okay. Alright. So, bye. See you all on Wednesday after our Merdeka Day. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.